Back you all. February is Black History Month and we are celebrating the great achievements of local African Americans. And this morning we are joined by Dr. Jariel Norton, who happens to be the only black dentist to emerge from from Claiborne Parish to tell us a little bit about his incredible success story. And Jariel, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you for having me as always. Absolutely. It's such an honor. And you always come talk to us a little bit about dentistry and keeping your teeth clean, which we're going to get to in just a little bit. But first, we want to talk about your incredible success story, really a story that deserves to be told. So tell us a little bit about what, what, how you got here. Came from Homer, Louisiana, Claiborne Parish. Uh, I went to school right down the street at LSU Shreveport. Um, still have much love in my heart for LSU Shreveport. They got me started. Went to dental school out at Baylor College of Dentistry, which is now Texas A&M College of Dentistry. And of course, I was the first African-American dentist from my town, my parish. Um, and I'm just wow. glad, just long journey yeah I'm thankful to God thankful to everybody that backed me up well I can imagine and we're so proud of you and your achievements how does that feel to to be able to say that to be honest it feels great but I don't really think about it much I think about how can I help the next person get here that's always my goal I don't sit and look at my accomplishments I, I'm just thankful that, that's yes. all I can say I never it's always been a dream but once it kind of, once you achieve it, you never really think you, you know, you'll make it there. And once it's there, the only thing I want to do is help someone else get here. That's wow. it. So I spend a lot of time with students who are trying to come up through my scholarship program, through my mentorship, my offices, always available for students to come and shadow. And that's just my thing, trying to get somebody else to get here. Because where I'm from, you don't see it as much. And I just want to show them that I'm nothing special. I mean, everybody looks at me as something special, but anyone can do it. So that's really, really what I think my calling is now. Any words of advice for young African Americans who may be watching us right now, Dr. Dariel, what would you say to them? The biggest advice is just to have confidence in yourself, know who you are, um, realize that black history is about what our people went through to make us who we are, but also about knowing that you don't have to treat anyone a certain way because they're different, um, treating everyone the same. I love people, I see, I see no color. All I see is a person's heart. And that's, I think, me having confidence in myself is what really got me here because society will bring a lot of things to you. As you see, I was the first of a couple of things. And that I, if I didn't have that confidence in myself, there's no way I would have made it. So know who they are, have confidence, and know that they can do anything they put their mind to. That is incredible advice. And of course, we could not bring a dentist into the studio without your monthly reminder to floss your teeth. So we are going to just a quick little reminder, Dr. Dariel. I know there's a right floss. way to do it. He brought me yes. some, a little bit of floss. Yes, because this our floss is always too small. Yes for these teeth so, so there you know, is a correct way there is a science to this madness so tell us what you're doing there just pop we probably want to do it here because you okay, can show yeah. them better pop hug pull always you gotta pop, hug your teeth with that floss pull. yes That's well it. i am world's worst flosser i forget to do it all the time so a, a little reminder for our friends watching us this morning <laughs> to floss your teeth keep your teeth healthy and also uh, thank you so much dr yes. dariel for telling us your story i know that Folks watching us this morning are certainly feeling inspired. I know that I can say I am for sure. Thank you Thank for you having me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, stick around. We have more news and weather coming up right after the break.